Hi guys, welcome to another playthrough. Happy Boxing Day. Okay. There's a few here, but I want to see something first. You're looking stronger than ever, kiddo. These are the... Okay. See you soon. Maybe it's only night time. Okay, we'll check it out tonight for sure. Where in the hell are you, Blaze? Running a search for our new pal Blaze's location, and all of a sudden, this happened. Equone credite tu cre. Latin? Do not trust the horse Trojans. Carol, just what type of search were you running? There. It's a message. Well, more like a bad dad joke from beyond the grave. Howard? His research files. Whenever there's any unauthorized access, the Trojan Horse program activates, and... Bingo. There's our little thief right there. The Southwest. That cannot be a coincidence. Tony, did Howard do this to all his files? Oh, no. Only the good stuff. The really juicy stuff. How juicy? Well, I'll give you two guesses, but you'll only need one. A big green one. Spider-Man, yeah. Okay. Where in the hell are you, Blaze? Keep the two heroism. Where's the life steal? Two turns for free. Yeah. Okay. Excellent armor. I get cloak. I'm super curious to find out what Bruce has been digging up in the old files. And how Lilith plans to use it. You like path, you? Thank you. <coughs> find out what Banner is searching for in the Stark files, then get back here. We got this, Sarah. I know how to handle Bruce. He's fallen under Lilith's power. He's no longer the same man you knew. Yeah, he's a little more exciting now. Changes everything. You 
knowingly triggered that Trojan horse, didn't you? I did. Another trap, Bruce? Huh. I'm disappointed. No trap, Tony. An invitation. To what? Join Queen Demon and the Creepy Crew? If anyone could fight her off, I'd have thought it'd be you. Then why would I ever want to do that? She values me, not the monster you all seem so fixated with. Together, we will shatter the limitations of what you refer to as magic and science. But don't take my word on it. My Gamma Accelerator is only the first step. We stand on the precipice of true Yeah, yeah, I heard that one before. Usually when Pops was ready to kick off a new arms race. Save your phony disgust for the cameras. We both know you're interested. I want you to finish Howard's work. Uh-huh. With me. Of course. Together we will fulfill your father's destiny. Yep. And bask in the glory of the Dark Mother. And there it is. Well, Bruce, I can see how well this whole Lilith thing is working out for you, but the problem is, I already have a team. And while I appreciate the generous offer, we're gonna take back my father's data and then kick your evil ass. That's cool, that's cool. Got a hack terminal. Okay. Hacking last terminal on the mission, okay. Dr. Banner was kind enough to alert Hydra's forces to your presence. If you ever wanted to show off your elite hacking skills, now would be the time, Mr. Stark. Me show off? What would ever give you that idea? And didn't I tell you to call me Tony? Just hack the computer before they smash it, please, Tony. See, that wasn't so hard. Okay. to break my resolve. Salesman Bruce, at least butter me up before you attack my deservedly huge ego.
welcome assistance. Signature move. The light is on our side. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Looks like it's up to me. Ever facing me. More Hydra coming in quick. The rift opens. That facility is teeming with Hydra reinforcements. Anything you can do to expedite the process. Look, you can't just smash the keyboard and wait for a bunch of algebraic equations to fly off the screen. This isn't some 90s movie. Okay, let's try that one. Proud. You don't know me at all, Bruce. 
credit where credit is due, Stark knows his technology. Scott, why can it never be easy with you? Just lucky, I guess. Tony, wait. We have what we came for. There is no reason to follow him. Time. Okay, this could be Is it me or are these bunch of battle. bigger and bigger? Look at the forehead on that thing. Concerned about the race. Oh, I was getting to that. I just can't pull my eyes away from that massive brain case of hers. I'm glad you're in good spirits, but the Dread Maiden is no laughing matter. Try summoning reinforcements unless you can disable her first. Sure, maybe we'll just take a few swipes at her kneecaps.
child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. your mother. Apparently she is promiscuous. Two guys, we have to redo this. Maybe I should be flat. Lilith has made this dread maiden in her own twisted image. Interesting interpretation. I would have guessed it was something out of Peter's. <laughs> Too weak for this fight. You had your chance to escape. had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed. Maybe you do not realize the trouble you are in, friend. Remind me to thank Banner for unleashing this thing on us. It really doesn't have a rejection well. I will not be defeated. 
Guys, just give up now. Oh, it's a close one, but I know how to. I know how to defeat these guys now. I have a strategy. We start the encounter for sure. I have a strategy. Hey, God, we got Spider Man. Oh, nine, ten. Love six. Yeah. I am still the prize. She's going to try summoning reinforcements unless you can disable her first. Sure. Maybe we'll just take a few swipes of the kneecaps.
made this dread maiden in her own twisted image. Interesting interpretation. I would have guessed it was something out of Giger's sketchbooks. Remind me to thank Banner for unleashing this thing on us. It really doesn't have an objection to Following your lead, Tony. My face is no different from yours. for the rest of us. Danger you're in. Don't let her overwhelm you. 
Oh no. I know what my future holds. Somehow I had expected more. out that's why 75 glasses is good credits I need 300 for the threat room which I want to get I could upgrade my guys and
Every time it seems like I finally put my family issues behind me, someone has to go and pick at the scar. Is this about what Banner found in your father's files? Bingo. Let's just say your mom and my dad would have made a real cute couple. In hell. At least you managed to grab whatever Banner was after. Tiny victory, I guess. But I don't think Banner or his puppet master are gonna give up that easily. Especially knowing what kind of stuff my father had in those files. Perhaps I should know more about him. Your father, that is. Some kids' dads had hobbies like collecting coins or stamps. Mine collected Defense Department contracts. And on the rare occasions when he wasn't off trying to build a better bomb, he was yelling at me. Over what? Over everything! So... Banner wants one of your father's bombs? No, it's worse than that. Howard had an avid interest in gamma radiation. That's the thing that puts the Hulk in Hulk. He always talked of constructing a gamma accelerator, an unbelievably powerful piece of machinery. If that's what Banner's after, we could be in a world of hurt. Whatever it is, we will never let Banner get it. Well, I hope you're right. I wish I could have your can-do attitude right now. If it helps, we could go through the files together. Strategize. I appreciate the offer, Hunter, but right now I just need to get out of this suit and put my thoughts together. He made short work of the Dread Maiden. Book club tonight. You in? Meet you there. Let's get moving. I like this book, but I can't explain why. Maybe I'll figure it out as we discuss it. Hell's mustering all its machinations to thwart us at every turn. Times like these are with. I should not be this nervous about what you all thought of the book. Even the best translations from Cree lose subtext. I kind of miss the simplicity of vampire slaying. Every. I'm good if you are. I am ready. Carol, this was your book, so you can start. I'll throw it back to you. What did you think of the book? I had a rough time with it. You didn't like it? Didn't say that. At first I've spent more time referencing the glossary than reading the book. Sounds familiar. What changed? I noticed a kind of rhythm to the words. I began to see them as lyrics to a song. All that dry talk faded, and it finally came together. The lyrics made it feel much bigger than a chapter on Cree farming implements. Exactly. This book was about much more than farming. Exactly. The rhythm to it helped paint a bigger picture. Once I caught on, I kept reading and didn't rely on the glossary. I picked everything up from context. That's when I realized none of this was about farming. I'm surprised how much stuck with me, despite some concepts being legit alien to me. Agreed. For me, the rhythm wasn't lyrics. It was more like the book was written to a cadence. That's why I had you read it on your spark. The mnemonic lexicon won't work with a hard copy. The what now? An ancient Cree technique. It helps you remember texts that would otherwise be considered... There's no Cree word for stuffy, but essentially that. But all that's packaging. Let's get into the book itself. Uh, Hunter, did you figure out what the bloom and the harvest represent? The 
the bloom represents the range of a fortress, the harvest happens when enemies enter that range. That's one vital part. You're right, the bloom can represent overlapping fields of fire, but it's more than one concept. At the time of the book's writing, the Kree cared most about integrating captured territory while still expanding their empire. Conquered worlds came with people. Rather than treat them as prisoners, the Kree provided them with most benefits enjoyed by Kree citizens. This period is known as the Cultivation. So the bloom was when they gained full citizenship under their conquerors? No, it's when the world requested it. As long as they could feed themselves with Kree farming techniques and defend their world with Kree defenses, the request was granted with few exceptions. So what's the harvest? As part of the service required by the Empire, many of these new citizens began the cultivation of freshly conquered worlds. So they were living examples. Show the newly conquered what they could achieve if they went along with the Empire. That's also how vampires work. Carol, I think I pieced together the Kree strategy. Do tell. It's all tied to agriculture. Every soldier knows you can't fight if you can't eat. But they applied this to their expansion. Till the field, sow the seed, pull the weed, reap the crop. It means the Kree wouldn't advance until the territory they took was secure and productive. If your enemy knows how you will act, they can prepare. Certainly, for other spacefaring empires. But most worlds had no idea the Kree existed until the invasion was underway. But the Kree expansion had momentum. They could afford to push harder because their whole weight was behind the advance. Unless a world could push just as hard, it would eventually fall under Kree control. Carol, how was that? Close enough to impress me. The strategy in Volume 32 wasn't perfect, but it worked out for the Kree far more often than it failed. What happened when it failed? That's covered in Volume 33. And that's book love. Steve, you're up next. What's your book? The Mantle of Authority by General Chester Phillips. Is this the one you keep saying I should read? The very same. Now you have to. It's book club. Before I forget, I asked Logan to join us next time. He said yes? He can read? I hope you enjoy the book I chose. Why do you say that? It's about people who weren't around until after your death. But I'm sure you'll figure out the context. So, why choose this book? Volume 30 was way too spicy for this crowd. Go on. I'm kidding. It's relevant to what we're facing today. Hydra, the Lilin, your mom. They seem to have the upper hand all over the world. I thought the Kree always won. No, that's what the Kree convinced everyone to believe. We haven't lost until we start believing their propaganda. And that's how we defeat our enemy. As long as we're still standing, they're gonna fall. Okay, just between us, Carol's book was extremely weird, right? Well, I learned a thing or two. What, how to grow turnips on the moon? That is harsh. I didn't think it was that bad. But interstellar agriculture as a metaphor for planetary conquest, not what I expected. You should be honest with Carol. I'm always honest with Carol. But if I tell her it was a weird book, I'll sound like I don't know much about her adopted culture. And how is that bad? You do not know, so this is the perfect opportunity to ask. Good point. All right, I'll do it. Thanks, Hunter. Good luck. You calling it? That is it for me. Later, then.
Carol, I had some more thoughts on the book. You do? You must have really liked it. Hunter? Hmm? Stark's father had a secret trove of gamma research that Bruce Banner stole from under our noses. That stings me, and I'm not even an Avenger. It's your move, Tony. Move for me. I can't move for you. That defeats the purpose of the game. Why don't you just tell me what's bothering you instead? How do you know something's bothering me? You're using the all-seeing eye of Agamotto again? Okay, it's a good time to save. Okay guys, I'll see you next episode.